Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis and let's talk about Doctor Who. More specifically, is the Doctor's sonic screwdriver a weapon? At first thought, no. The sonic screwdriver is not a weapon. The sonic screwdriver is a tool that the Doctor uses to get out of sticky situations and inconvenient plot points. The recent incarnations can also gather information on the things that it scans. But when you watch the show, the Doctor is constantly pointing the sonic at aliens and villains and threats as if it's some sort of techie magic wand. Now the Doctor could be doing this for one of three reasons. Reason number one, it's just for show. Just like a Jemmy Dodger above a Dalek craft, it's just the appearance of a weapon, but it's not really a threat. Reason number two, it could be sending out little pulsars to help calm the threat. Maybe they are affected in a calming sense, maybe it slows their breathing or some other sort of nullification. Or reason number three, it could actually be used as a weapon. The Doctor could pump up the sonic and use it as a lethal weapon. The second sonic device that we are introduced to in the revival of Doctor Who is when Nine meets Jack Harkness. Jack had a sonic blaster, digital tech used to send out a sonic wave to cut through thick material. But the Doctor ended up destroying the blaster, calling it a weapon. But in years previous, Sarah Jane Smith actually had her own sonic, sonic lipstick, which functioned very similarly to the Doctor's sonic screwdriver. The sonic lipstick was used to disable tech, to open doors, to unlock locks, but there were times when the sonic lipstick was used to shatter glass, to disable communications equipment, other things that sonic devices would be able to do. And while the Doctor and some of his companions have had sonic devices, they're not usually seen as offensive weapons. The sonic screwdriver is just a very frequent plot device, a very very frequent plot device. It's usually used as a tool for escape or for covert entry. However, Jack did say that his sonic blaster could function as a sonic disruptor or a sonic cannon. So... Though there were some sonic devices built for the sole intention of harm. The Master's sonic laser, for example, used for cutting and, uh, killing. There were the sonic specs, which were obviously a weapon. <laughs> Doctor Number 6 used a sonic lance against the Cybermen, another weaponized sonic. Missy had a sonic umbrella, again, primarily used as a weapon. The Silurians used sonic lanterns to help corral dinosaurs. And the Ice Warriors had their own sonic weapons on the right arm of their armor, again, used as weapons. It fired a sonic burst which could stun or kill its target, but with humans it would just crunch the human's bones. The sonic screwdriver can cut and burn all sorts of materials and fry the neural centers of a living creature. Even though the doctor would never use the sonic screwdriver in such a way, technically it could be used as a weapon. But just look at how far this thing has come. It was introduced literally as a sonic screwdriver to unscrew screws, and now it's like a Time Lord Swiss Army knife. And it's not normally a threatening tool, but it can be weaponized. Sometimes directly, sometimes due to the surroundings. Scanning for weaknesses and information, sometimes. Closing inconvenient plot holes? Usually. So in the comments down below, let me know your opinions on the sonic screwdriver. Do you think that it's a tool that's used a little bit too much, or do you enjoy seeing the doctor use this? But as always, my name is Travis, thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.